Gonna be testing here the 16 spoon Pelton with a 360 thousands fixed jet here and 287 thousands on this side. So it's gonna be a, a dual fixed nozzle test with a 16 spoon Pelton. running 156.7 watts and we're doing 125.6 and our pressure is 37 which is a little on the low side compared to our turgle which was 42 psi we have a 16 spoon pelton with a 360 thousands fixed jet Here rubbing still. Uh, I can try to adjust the uh, jet and bring it out a little further. These are adjustable, so I can bring it in and out closer to our runner. You see how it's hidden there? There's nothing. That's all the way out. did a little bit better it did 156.7 we're doing about 151 so we're about five watts off five off from the turbo i have a couple of new jets to try out we're looking for 42 psi and last time we tr we tried the 360,000, which is this one and that one uh left us with i think it was around 50 psi so i also cut up a 370 and a 394 so I'm going to try the 394 first and see what it does Let's see if we get our 42 psi we're looking for and this other 286 here I'm going to try this for dual nozzles and see if we get our 42 psi between 43 and 42 now I do have a situation where this bracket here is hitting this, so it's kind of flooding the place some more than we already have. Um, so I'll have to make a higher case next time. The other problem that I have is that these nozzles are too close to the wheel. I got to make a different housing to accommodate this jet. It's just an adapter, so I can use the same as the adjustable blue nozzle. And if I bring it in all the way, it'll actually hit the wheel. I can't put it in the same place where it's done the best, which is all the way in, which is a disadvantage to this ones. 
I'm uh, about halfway from my adjustment. Okay, it's clipping once in a while, but it shouldn't be too bad. We won't use any Teflon tape, I'll just screw it in like this here. I had to use the slightly longer line so I can make the turn there. So it's, um, it's about a foot longer. PSI, so we're a couple of uh, a couple of PSI off. We are about three PSI off, so I don't have a bigger one to try. Actually, this was the biggest one I had, so I'll have to go a little bigger. Uh, and there's no sense in testing the the other nozzle either, the dual nozzles. I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, well, I guess we'll throw we'll throw them on see if uh, two. The two 286s uh, will do it, so I'm going to swap to the other two nozzles and see how it does, so we have a point of reference. We have dual 287 thousandths jet. We're trying to get to about 42 psi. We'll see where we land with that. And this is the 30 spoon Pelton, and we're running at 12 volts. like with this side we have no teflon tape on that so i might have to put a rag over that because it's the uh it's that piece in there not that uh sanitary fitting okay test number three test number three yeah it's spraying right at the end there so let me uh just put this here the water down. A lot of air in here. Okay, we're going to play out. Out. Our pressure here is 44. A little on the high side, not bad. Uh, I just are not quite at the best spot. I can't bring it closer because they hit the, um, the wheel. But that's not bad, actually. There's nothing for me to adjust. That's the good part. I can't really do much here. I don't think I can change the angle. This is pretty solid here. I guess I can help it a little. 
little bit. A little bit better, how about this side? Right there. We will get 287,000. Thirty spoons held in. Our pressure almost where we want it. Maybe about 42, maybe 43. I think 42, 42 and 43 is the best that uh, we can be done, but that's not bad. Just what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up a uh, bigger load. I'm going to put a thousand watt load on there and see if it changes any. Like we over overloaded it with a thousand watt, and I see the wattage that works. So my voltage is really low right there because of the overload. The batteries can't even hold it, and obviously the generator can. It's a thousand watt, and we're only putting out 144. Thousand watt. Okay, so it's not bad at all. Um, we're getting close to having a comparable um, dual jet. So the single jet, I still have to go a little bigger to get to the right PSI. You can buy this at uh, $10 a piece if you buy four at a time, or, or let's say 20 bucks. So even $20 versus 150 is definitely uh, a lot nicer. Now, how long will they last? Um, I don't really run the system at all, so I'm not sure on that. Uh, how well they'll withstand, let's say, months and months or years of use. Uh, I only test them here. I don't even run this system. This is only uh, for uh, testing purposes. Um, very good. So that is uh, the end of this episode until I get more jets cut up and maybe a few more wheels um, to try to see if we can uh, uh, increase our power. But we're close to the maximum we can get out of this water line. This is a uh, two inch water line running 3,200 feet to the top of the mountain. So it is very small, it's definitely not adequate. Three inch would have given me about 1,400 watts versus about 300 watts. So never use a two inch line, always go three inch. Am I gonna ever change it? I'm not sure. I may, it's a lot of work. I mean, we're talking over half a mile of line uh, it's a big expense. You'll never make up for it. Looking at about a uh, $10,000 investment and you'll never get, get that uh, in electricity. I don't believe so. How many years would that take? A thousand watts? We can calculate that, but I don't think it's worth it. Right, now we're going to try a free spin. See how fast we can get it to roll. So we'll disconnect the power to it. So we also need to disconnect our electronics because uh, the voltage is going to jump through the roof here. So we'll disconnect this.
pretty much concludes uh, this test. We did do better with this uh, design. Uh, I need to make a few different size jets. I have a few more that I'm gonna cut up to try to go with a fixed jet so we're not um, messing around with the adjustments. We know about what pressure we're shooting at and I'll cut those uh, and, and then we can um, tweak it for that so we don't have to spend $160 for an adjustable nozzle. Very good. Uh, so when I get those done, uh, we'll report back on our results. Uh, but we're getting close to the limits of this. I don't know if we can get a lot more. We got about five, five watts more uh, with this design, just very slightly. Uh, but it's definitely a much more economical unit. So until next time. A little example of how the wisteria chokes and kills the tree. Oh, that's a maple tree.